I am Soheb, Senior Algorithms Engineer from Tenex Engineers Image Processing Algorithms and Applications Team. In this video, I am going to talk about Infinite ISP and ISP is Image Signal Processor. This is an exclusive open source release by Tenex Engineers. And in this video, we are going to talk about what is Infinite ISP, how can we use it and why should we be using it? So before going into the details of infinite ISP, let's see what an ISP, the image signal processor is. So here you can see the internals of a camera. We have a lens that actually focuses the scene that is being captured and focuses it, its light rays to a sensor. The sensor is essentially a 2D array of pixels. And it also contains the wire pattern. It essentially converts the light rays that are coming from the lens into raw pixel values. And then these pixel values are fed to the ISP. The ISP is the main, uh, main uh, image processing block unit. It converts that raw image into viewable pleasing image that we see in the output um, as an output of the camera. Other than the ISP, there is, there is an SOC inside the camera that contains many other IPs such as high performance processors. The processor is responsible for controlling all the other IPs and including the ISP itself. It has memory controllers for interacting with the memory. Also, it contains a very essential IP block for video codec that essentially encodes and compresses the uh, output generated from the ISP in the form of a video. And we have also MAC IP units that converts that video into the form of packets and then it is, they are sent over to the ethernet. Here in the picture, we have an ISP that is separated from this SOC, but most manufacturers keep the ISP as a part of this SOC, SOC and package this in a single chip. Here on the left hand side, you can see that this is the input that an ISP receives. This is essentially the output that the sensor generates and then send it to an ISP. The ISP the better the ISP, the better the performance and the better the output is responsible for converting this type of greenish and darkish input to pupil pleasing images that we see as an output of the camera. So now let's see what is infinite ISP. So you might be wondering what is in the ISP that converts that green dark raw image into the beautiful image that we see as an output? The answer is here. Every ISP has a series of algorithms that are responsible for all the processing. Here you can see the pipeline of the infinite ISP. It processes the input image in three domains, the raw image, the RTB domain, and the YCBCR or commonly YUV domain. Each of these blocks have algorithms that are specially engineered to process and convert the raw image into visually pleasing output images. So Infinite ISP is a full stack ISP solution that is released in the open source. It has four major repositories in the form of models. The first one is the algorithm design model. The algorithm design contains the algorithms of each of the ISP block that we saw earlier. It provides its users a very convenient platform for the algorithm development. The second one is the reference model. The reference model is essentially the fixed point representation of the algorithm design model. This reference model also helps the aid of the RTL development and also aids in the testing of the RTL as well as its debugging. Then we have the FPGA binaries, which is a full camera solution based on the Xilinx 
प्रिया के वी टू सिक्सटी विजन एयर इज स्टार्टेड एंड फाइनली वी हैव दूनिंग टूल दिस ट्यूनिंग टूल इज बेसिकली द टूल दैट कैलिब्रेट्स दी आई एस पी दैट इज डिवेलप एंड इट अलाउस दी आई एस पी फॉर सीन अडेप्टिव ट्यूनेबिलिटी This is developed by Tenex Engineers and is released under the Apache 2.0 license. The current version of release is the V1.0. So why Infinitize? So most ISPs are available as a proprietary solution. There we have seen that there are security concerns against regional ISP vendors. this has caused various bans and restrictions there is no community of isp experts that means most of the isp knowledge is closed all these factors have contributed to a very costly isp solution by companies making their clients stick to unavoidable vendor locks with very less flexibility So now let's see who can use Infinite ISP. Infinite ISP can be used by researchers. ISP experts can can benefit from the ongoing improvements, bug fixes, and advancements contributed by the open source community. Researchers can use it for rapid prototyping. They can check the feasibility of their idea, experiment with different configurations, and do experiments. before committing to a specific solution in the education sectors engineer can learn from the intricacies of the isp design and apply this knowledge to their own projects companies can also make use of the infinite isp project they can tailor it to their own needs this will enable them to develop an isp rather than building it from scratch saving both cost time and development so this was all in this video thanks for watching in the next video we will be showing you the overview of how to get started with the infinite isp project until then see you